Hi everyone, my name is Jin and today we're going to learn how to longboard in five steps. Step number one is going to be finding our stance. I want you to stand square and lean forward. Just before you lose your balance, stick out a foot to stop yourself. That's going to be your dominant foot and that's the foot that's going to go forward on your board. We're going to practice your stance. I want you to make sure that your feet are about shoulder width apart, knees bent, chest up, and your arms out for balance. Next, we're gonna practice rolling on our board. I want you to start on a shallow hill. We're gonna put the board down and we're gonna try to assume our stance. Since we're on the hill, the board will start to move slowly. I just want you to get a feel for rolling. If you feel a little bit scared, it's okay to ask a friend to come help you. Remember your stance when you're doing this. You wanna keep your knees bent, your chest out, your arms out, and your head up. For step three, we're gonna learn how to push on our board. This is gonna involve changing our foot positioning a little bit, so make sure that you're comfortable with rolling before moving on to this step. As you might be able to imagine, pushing is really important because it's what propels you to move when you're not rolling down a hill. We're gonna start with our board upside down, and we're gonna put our front foot at the front of the board, like we started with our stance normally and rolling. However, instead of keeping your foot perpendicular to the board, we're actually gonna put it parallel. Then, we're gonna drop down the other foot and practice dragging it across the ground. Once you feel comfortable with this motion, practice turning that front foot so it's back to perpendicular with the board and back to your normal stance, like this. Once you feel comfortable with this, we can translate it to a moving board. We're gonna do the exact same thing that we were doing on that stationary board, just that we're gonna take it moving. Try to find yourself a flat piece of land this time with no sort of a slope or incline and we're gonna try this nice and slow. We're gonna set ourselves up next to the board here with both of our feet parallel to the board. We're gonna bring the back foot back on the board and turn the front foot so it's back to perpendicular. Please note that my movements here are a little bit exaggerated, especially the lifting of the back foot, but you certainly don't have to do it this way. As you get more and more comfortable with the push, try to do more and more pushes to gain even more speed. Now that we've learned how to push, how to roll, we next have to learn how to stop. This one is quite a similar motion to the pushing, but it is a little bit slower and a little bit more controlled. We're gonna practice with our board first in the grass, starting off with what might seem like our normal pushing stance. From here, we're going to bend the front knee so that we can drop the back foot onto the ground. At this point, both of our feet are actually parallel to the board. We're gonna practice this motion before we translate it to actually breaking. Once you've gotten comfortable with this motion, we are gonna try rolling on the board. We're gonna push or roll down a mellow hill like we were doing earlier. Then we're gonna switch into our rolling stance. From here, we're gonna switch back by moving our front foot parallel to the board and then bending our knee and dropping our weight slowly into that back foot. To put that all together, we're going to push a couple of times. We're gonna put the back foot back on the board. We're gonna turn the front foot, roll when we're ready to stop turn the front foot back parallel, and drop the back foot to come to a stop. So far, we've learned about our stance, how to roll, how to push, and how to stop. The last thing that we need to learn, which is what you might associate most with longboarding, is how to carve. Carving involves shifting our weight back and forth on the board to control our turns and to move in a sort of an S shape. To carve, there are two primary directions. We're either going to carve toe side which is the direction of our toes, or heel side, which is the direction of our heels. The direction to which we lean is the direction that we end up turning. But to practice carving, I want you to bring yourself to a comfortable speed, either by rolling down a hill or by pushing. From here, experiment with gently leaning your weight into your toes and then back into your heels. Forward into your toes and back into your heels. While you're carving, try to turn your shoulders. With a toe side carve, you want to bring the shoulders in. With a heel side carve, you want to bring the shoulders out. So toe side, close. Heel side, open. This will help to really guide where you're going on your board. As you get more and more comfortable with carving, experiment with how much weight and how quickly you distribute your weight into your toes and your heels. The more gentle and gradual your weight distribution, the more gentle the carves. The more aggressive your weight distribution, the tighter the carves. And so, there you have it how to longboard in five steps. As a quick review, first we're gonna find our stance, find your dominant foot 
that foot is gonna go forward. Once you have that, practice your stance on your board upside down or in the grass. Next, we're gonna start rolling. Put your board on a mellow incline or get a friend to help push you a little bit. Once you get comfortable with rolling, we're gonna start with pushing. Front foot parallel to the board, back foot also parallel to the board, dragging the back foot across the pavement to propel yourself forward. From here, we're gonna learn how to break. So we push, roll. Once you're rolling, you turn your front foot back parallel to the board, you drop the back foot onto the ground and you gradually distribute your weight into that back foot to bring yourself to a stop. Finally, carving. Distribute your weight back and forth from your heel side and your toe side. Help get that S motion of the board. This is gonna be essential for carving and makes longboarding way more fun. Hopefully this video was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you all in the next one.